Yo, yo, welcome to Trippy Commentaries in our playthrough of Grand Theft Auto V Online. We are jumping into a mission with one of our most fiercest Trippy Comms Mafia members, Ryuki. Uh, definitely a, a big time reason on why we are always successful with our takeover attempts is because we have Ryuki on our side. Uh, now, this is a pretty uh, interesting mission here. Apparently, we will be going on dirt roads, I take it, FPS Kyle? I guess so, yeah. I mean, I think what you're doing here is you're going to sneak up on, uh, I think, the biker gang and steal their meth, which I'm not going to be too happy about. Uh oh here they come. <laughs> it's like we are in a Breaking Bad episode. Uh, yeah. We're also joined uh, for the first time in a uh, GTA commentary by Retro Brett. Yo, I'm happy to be here. Like uh, RJ said, I'm... Not very familiar with the uh, GTA universe, but I gotta say, uh, RJ's character looks like um, kind of looks, looks like the bad guy from uh, Bad Boys Two. Oh, really? I was actually okay, thinking. Yeah. Uh, Not, that's yeah, that's a good one. Kyle and I were talking off screen. To me, kind of looks kinda like uh, the Scarecrow from Batman Begins. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, I don't know if you remember him at all. Oh, we got a guy sneaking up. I had to kind of back up a little bit here. I didn't want to lose our life as we only have one between the two of us. But uh, I did manage to kind of revive myself like the Wolverine. Looks and like Ryuki's got the uh, the meth. All right, I hopefully got some meth too. Uh, hopefully he doesn't use it before we can deliver it. We got some as well. Oh, man, we got his Damn. nice car here. Rambo, maybe? Now, one thing I want to do, shout out to Ryuki. This kid has got driving skills. Oh, hell yeah. I've ridden around with this kid for a good 30 minutes before, and I mean... He's got, uh, he definitely has some driving skills, so I'm going to give a shout out to uh, Ryuki here as we're going to watch him. I'm not sure how old he is. Uh, he might be a grown man for all we know. Um, but, or he could uh, be a 13 year Let's see how we're doing here. Uh, we have the meth, and we are driving where else but to Trevor's trailer. Now, uh, Retro Bread, of course, uh, he specializes, as you guys probably can tell by the name, in the uh, old school playthroughs. Uh, he'll be spearheading. A uh, Sonic the Hedgehog playthrough that will be starting up. Uh, Super Castlevania. Any um, kind of Castlevania. Of course, the Mega Mans. I know oh, you've been obviously. practicing up for a Mega Man 3 playthrough. Uh, but... I don't need to practice on that. <laughs> hey, that's that shit. not easy. Not easy at all. I mean, no, easier than Mega Man 2, but certainly not easy. Well, the thing I like about Mega Man 3 is it kind of incorporates both games. Mega Man 2 and 3. Mm -hmm. I agree completely. I love Mega Man 3. Of course, uh, 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 my name's RJ, and a great uh, power-up in that game is the RJ power-up, or the Rush Jet. But of course, when you <laughs> click on it, it says RJ, so I always like that. And it's like the best, you know, be basically the best version of that Rush Jet you ever get in any, of me any Mega Man game oh, yeah. ever, really. But uh, what I was getting to is, you know, of course, you specialize in the retro games for us. So this is definitely taking out of your environment uh, definitely here. Definitely out of my comfort zone. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> I'm glad I'm not on the controls here. Yeah, I'm neither am I. I'm up really bad. Yeah, so, but right now it kind of looks like a basic racer to you. Uh, from an outside perspective, uh, what do you think of just the San Andreas environments you have here, the world? Even for you, it's got to be pretty impressive. You could just hit a rock. Um, hope it wasn't Dwayne Johnson that he hit. <laughs> get it, the rock. Okay. Um, we got it. What I, do you think of the game? I think this is a very... Know your role, Brett. <laughs> know your role. <laughs> all right, all right. This is a very expansive game. Uh, I never really got into it. Like the name implies, Retro Brett, but... Uh, mm -hmm. Makes sense. It's a very, very expansive universe and game. Um, kind of uh, reminds me a little bit of a game, a PC game called Carmageddon. Oh, I remember yeah. back in high school Anyone you loved that game. That? Oh, yeah. You introduced me to it. I did? I don't yeah. That, yeah. It's a pretty awesome game. It's a, it's a game like this where you can race around town or you can run over people. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Spear them, run them down, whatever you want to do. So it's a very multi game. Let us uh, introduce you to Trevor, Retro Brett. Um, FPS Kyle, uh, what can you even tell Retro Brett about this uh, 
intriguing character of ours? Uh, I mean, just think of, you know, a crazy, psychotic, drunk, methed out trailer trash of a human being and murder. Murder and genius. I'm an idiot savant, to say the least. Yeah. You know, he kind of reminds... And that's Trevor. Well, he kind of looked like uh, Steve Buscemi a little bit. Interesting. Yes. Um, that's a. I never heard that, and that's a damn good uh, good call there, Retro Brett. Now the next mission is going to be into the wild. I'm going to do the trippy handoff here to FPS Kyle. Right. Uh, we're. I mean, as you guys can imagine, we're all just kind of chilling in the trippy cave. Yep. Uh, we got the 50 inch TV set up and all that, so just chilling, playing some GTA 5 online, trying to upgrade our character all the way to level 100. Thank you guys for joining us as we still have a long ways to go. We're hopefully going to reach level 20 here, Kyle. We're getting close. Yeah, getting, definitely getting close, man. Now, uh, you're only at level 20 and you're going to 100? Uh, yes, yeah, so we have a long ways to go. Uh, Retro Bread, this is your basic RPG kind of standpoint here with GTA. Um, I'm sure you've seen all the GTAs from GTA 3 on. It's, it's really the same kind of play style. But a now little, they added something a little here and there. Mm -hmm, yeah. Exactly, and they introduced these RPG mechanics here with the online aspect, which actually we first saw back in GTA 4, but they uh, improved on it here in GTA 5. But uh, you, of course, you played tons of RPGs, uh, Diablo 3. You know, we've uh, been yes. playing here at the channel, so I'm sure you can understand the leveling system. Oh yes, I, I understand it perfectly well. Each game has its slightly unique version of leveling, mm -hmm. um, but basically they're all share the same principle and base. Yeah. Uh, we are on standby. It looks like they are inviting players, and hopefully it should start up right about now. And there it goes. Uh, we'll go ahead and skip through this loading uh, session here, and uh, we'll meet you guys on the other side. All right, we are getting ready for some Into the Wild action. We are teaming up with Ryuki, of course. Actually, I think we're against Ryuki in this uh -oh. one, so this could be interesting, Are man. we really? You're putting me on the spot here. I notice there's two different teams, so... Uh, I'm uh, glad I'm not playing, if that's yeah. the case. I don't want to... So. I'm not taking on Ryuki. He's a uh, Grand Theft Auto master. I put in some time with Ryuki. I think, uh, I think I know some of his secrets here, so we'll see how the, I can... The only time I've ever uh, accomplished beating a 10-round uh, session of uh, survival it was because Ryuki was on my squad he was on my team if it wasn't for him we wouldn't have survived got a uh, looks like got a Mustang G GT back there yeah definitely some realistic car uh, designs in this game retro I mean all that you would recognize a lot are very familiar of course uh, Corvettes and that goes all the way back to uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 they carry it on into this game. I think you would really enjoy the racing aspect of this game. As this is, oh, I enjoy racing. That's for sure. Yeah, and this is really yeah. one of the best racing games. Uh, GTA 4, I felt like, was a little bit more of a niche racer because the controls, I mean, they were good. I liked them. I had a lot of fun with that game. I played the hell out of it as far as its racing. The Camaro you just uh oh, passed, it like. <laughs> oh, Ryuki has a Brinks truck. Oh apparently. shit, that's right. Ryuki. Yeah, now. he was trying to take you on. You barely dodged. Just uh, FYI for anyone, I own a Camaro, and I'm a very big Camaro enthusiast. So. Yeah, I know you've been a big Camaro fan since back when we were in high school. We used yeah, to, back uh, when I, I bought that thing. Yeah, um, I, in fact, today I was driving by, I was thinking about that Camaro today because uh, I was driving by, of course, our old high school football field, mm -hmm. and uh, just reminded me of us pulling up because you see all the kids and they look so much smaller than yeah. we were back when we were in They're high like, school were we ever that small? i know right were and we? uh you know of course i just reminded me of us pulling in getting ready to watch the football game in the you know pulling up in the camaro so yeah. definitely can't cool wait till that thing's really drivable tip that shit out and go pick up some uh, some ladies take it to los santos customs yeah definitely have to find the uh you know kind of the equivalent here in gta 5 now, uh, looks like you are doing a little bit of a race here, FPS Kyle. What the hell is going gotta, on? I think I got to get something here and then get it back to a uh, specific location. Before Ryuki does? Before Ryuki does. Okay, what's, now it's forcing you to stop here? Oh, you win. Oh, I guess Aha. I had to get there first. I guess uh, it was a race. Um, we chose it basically because uh, uh, Ryuki picked it, so uh, we said why not. So, well done. All right. Uh, handing it back to me. For some reason, we are now bald and we don't have our Jason mask on. 
Not exactly sure what the hell kind of glitches go on here in GTA Online. Oh, the hair seems to get screwed up all the time. Anytime you have a helmet on and then you don't have a helmet on, it seems to always screw you so up. So the helmet plucks the hair out of your head? Maybe. I don't know. Now let's look at something we can take on fairly uh, with Ryuki here. He wants to refresh. I was going to pick the parachuting, uh, but I think we can we can go with the refresh and let's see what choices we have. Airport parking? Now that's a star here. Uh, we do have a survival um, there is a, uh, it's a straight race. Uh, the raid would be kind of tight. He wants another refresh. All right, we'll have it your way. Right. There is a survival there. The Maze Bank survival, Ooh, I like uh, which is a pretty good one. Like oh, timber. here, these are the survivals. He's definitely uh, feeling the survival. That's a good one, man. This is a good one. I like this one. Mm. I'm liking those trees there. Looks really foresty. I like it. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, Let's go with that. In fact, uh, the thing about the survival is, uh, you know, we're just trying to, of course, do one last... Uh, quick one, yeah. Yeah, quick yeah, one here for the episode. Survival would take a little longer. Survival would end up making this a pretty long episode, so uh, we don't want you guys to have to sit through 40 minutes uh, for one episode, so we'll play one more quick uh, episode here, it Looks or one more quick mission called Timber. A jump like this is a true test of focus and mental strength. I will be taking the controls, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I guess uh, we'll go ahead and get through the loading session, of course, see if anybody else is going to join up, and uh, we'll meet you guys as we start Timber, and I guess uh, jump out of a helicopter. Here we are, standing next to the porta potties getting ready to, uh, I guess, take the helicopter up into the skies. We will be facing off with Ryuki who uh, normally we team up with. Unfortunately, in this episode, we must uh, face off with them and see who the victor will be. Uh, we are planning a new uh, takeover yep. where we will be invading the old Grove Street circle. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are searching for CJ. I'm sure, hopefully, at least Ryuki will be a part of that. Uh, we will probably we'll be doing that uh, tomorrow from the night, of course, we're recording this. Um, so hopefully that goes well. I'm sure Ryuki will team up with us for that event. But as for now, we are way up in the skies. This is a uh, pretty trippy Some looking Superman clouds. Like right here, man. Just <laughs> flying through the air. It also kind of reminds me of uh, Godzilla movie. Yeah, the most definitely. Recent Godzilla movie. Yeah, that was a pretty sweet scene. I know that movie's coming out on DVD pretty soon. We'll have to get that here at the Trippy Cave. Now uh, I gotta say, this is not bad for me. I'm actually free fall and normally I parachute this this son bitch but uh this time I'm deciding wanna. to free fall. <laughs> Unfortunately wanna. I did miss one so I think from this point on let's really? take it slowly. Sporting an interesting I'm color uh parachute, parachute yeah. here okay. yeah. I know there was the flight school update which incorporated um you know like American flags and basically just different national flags so Unfortunately, we did not get the Portuguese flag. Uh, Kyle and I have some Portuguese descent. That would have been pretty cool. Yep. Instead, they give us the uh, the rainbow flag, which is, you know, that's cool if that's what you're into. Let's uh, go ahead and continue down the mountain. This is pretty sight going alongside this mountain like this. Now, Ryuki's pretty skilled. I'm assuming he's probably taking advantage of something and probably going to beat us. Well, you pretty much want to hit the exact middle spot of each circle oh, to get I the most I forgot about points. that. I've been aiming for the circle, and I forgot that you do want to hit that chevron there. Yep, right in the very middle of it. That arrow? Yeah. But See, uh, the thing when I first started doing the parachute missions, I always thought it was also like who got down first. Mm -hmm. That combination. I wish they kind of would have done it that way because I mean you can go as slow as you want and just try to rack up the highest score, which is pretty easy. I mean, I think you do get bonus points. You know what I mean? For speed. I haven't noticed anything. I really. I, hope I we I've do. come down and beat everybody, and because I was off on a few of them, I was like, oh, I lost. You know. Well, let's see. I mean, I feel like I was. I didn't use my parachute for a while. Let's go down as you have some walk time. All right. Hopefully that was at least in the middle See, of the... 225, uh, I think, was your score. All right. Ryoki, what do you got? Who's the winner? Oh, Trippy got comes. him. We pulled off the victory here. Score of 225 is good enough for first. Let's see how much money we have here. 4,620. I mean, that's not bad for a quick little uh, fly-down session. Not too bad at all. And uh, probably one more mission away from... Hitting 20. Once again, we are bald. Uh, our victory dance is pretty lackluster. I like to pick something out. Maybe I forgot to pick something out this time. Yeah, I think you did. 
You and the uh, toss out the smoke. Yeah, maybe if we <laughs> could uh, pick our favorite NFL characters touchdown dance. Yes. That'd be interesting. Um, I don't know suggestion if you... for uh, GTA, for Rockstar. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I remember uh, one touchdown celebration that Randy Moss did where he did the moon. He basically looked like he pulled down his pants and mooned the uh, Lambeau <laughs> Field crowd. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure that would be uh, a victory dance that would be pretty welcome here in like GTA that Online. House there. Looks like a drug dealer's house out in Mexico. Very nice. Yeah, well, there are some houses available. We're starting to earn some that money. Actually, We're going to have to buy it, one. That's funny that you mentioned that because in an episode of Breaking Bad, mm -hmm. they're actually at a cartel member's house. I don't know if it's the same house, but it looks damn close now that I'm looking at it. That back porch where actually, uh, you know, Walt takes out the whole cartel uh, at one time. If you haven't watched it, I'm not going to give anything away. You need to watch it. But uh, the house looks actually really familiar to that. It's funny you mentioned that, Kyle, because we will be doing some Breaking Bad GTA reenactments very soon. So oh, yeah. make sure to watch out for that here at Trippy Commentaries. Thank you guys again for joining us for this chill episode. Of course, we're just chilling, playing some GTA Online, upgrading our characters. And we're glad to have you guys with us. Make sure to stay tuned. And more importantly, stay trippy for me FPS Kyle and Retro Brett. See you guys in the next episode of our GTA Online playthrough. Peace out.